this lies at the level of bikini line and with one hand we start moving to the top end of the uterus until we reach to an area which is known as fundus so with two hands and facing towards the patient's head end what is located at the fundus is felt with two hands here i can feel baby's bottom the second leopold grips is known as the lateral grips with firm pressure on one side examination is done on the other side so on the right side i can feel the baby's back and now with the firm pressure from the right side what i can feel on the left side is knob like structures corresponding to baby's hands and feet so leopold's fourth grip is when we use two hands and we face towards the patient's leg end we try and see if we can converge the hands below the the part of the baby that lies in the pelvis in this case i could and hence the head is not fixed or engaged leopold's third grip is when we use one hand and we try and bellot the structure which is lying in the lower part of the pelvis in this case i can move the fetal head that was lying in between my thumb and fingers so now this is the umbilicus and that's the bone which is known as anterior superior iliac spine so if we draw an imaginary line that's the area where we should be able to find the baby's heart sound and in this case the baby's back is lying on the right side so i be, should be able to locate the baby's heart sound there an ultrasound gel is put in that place and we use a sonicin and we place in that area perpendicular to it so we listen this for one minute what i tell everyone to be mindful of the, the other type of this sound so this sound is also known as uterine shuffle which means this is the maternal pulse not the baby's heart rate this is the blood that is flowing through the uterine artery so we have to be careful in cases where we can't actually find out the baby's heart sound and we incorrectly label this as the baby's heart sound